are still in New York, and would you believe I'm riding in this buggy with the man himself, Eric. Hi, Eric. Hi, Molly. Been good? Very good, yeah. Good well, holiday. Well, now, listen, the reason you were over here a couple of weeks ago, I explained how um, Rick Springfield, uh, on his current album, has got State of the Heart. Yeah. And you must be pleased because it is now a single. And Second single. There is a billboard, and it is roared in at, where is it, number 69 with a bullet. 69 with a bullet. Yeah. Good so when did you first know about that Rick was going to put this on, on, on his album? Well, I had a rumour about three years ago, and then he put out a song called Affair of the Heart, and I thought the rumour had got its wires crossed, but then I got a call three months ago saying he's recorded it, you know, there's a pull, right. he wants to release it as a single, and now he's done it, and there it is. Well, you know, guys, they're not doing so bad. Um, everything I Need, Men at Work, and number 50 with the bullet on, on, the, on the billboard charts, and over the page here, the two highlight albums for this week on review are Men at Work's album and Air Supply, so the Aussies are really doing all right. Killing it, killing it. Now, let's watch Bondo Rock doing very quickly. Uh, well, the Columbia Records over here are releasing our album and releasing Come Said the Boy as their first single in right. about three or four weeks. And you're over here doing a remix on Doing it. a remix at the Power Station tomorrow with a guy called Scott Lip, right. who, um, who well, he's produced Katrina and the Waves, he's the engineer for Nile Great Rose, song. That's all right. all right, well, listen, we better roll along with the show. So, from me and Eric, um, and I, in Central Park, doing an Oklahoma in the buggy, <laughs> let's have a look at the Australian Top 5 for this week.